Showtime's end of the uh, end of cycle life, <laughs> end of cycle schedule has released. So the last few fights you will see on uh, Show or Showtime Boxing, Dan Rayfield started to leak uh, leak the last three shows. So they have three shows, and then it's encore. Do you want more? <laughs> it's over. They're cleaning out their closet. You know, so let's talk about them. I did a short on it, but let's do a video on it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop the video. Um, so obviously, November 25th, you're gonna have David Benavidez taking on uh, Demetrius Andrade, is gonna be the play. Um, we know that already. Then December 9th is supposed to be rumored Mikey Garcia taking on Floyd Mayweather. Also, I heard uh, Mark Mayaxo going to be on the undercard and Danny Garcia, Iris Lani Lara is going to be on the undercard. Now, uh, it was believed that Keith Thurman and Stanis was going to be on the card too, but I'll get to that in a minute. So basically, um, Danny and Lara are supposed to go down at the Barclays Center sometime in August. So I guess with the, with the the you know, with the, the funding problems with Showtime, you know, they both of them fighters wanted probably money to be on pay per view, and you know, the Mayweather card to fund it. So, you know, <laughs> you think about it, these dudes, man. You know, Lara ain't pay per view worthy, and Danny ain't pay per view worthy. His his only pay per view performance was, you know, getting beat up by a dude that was just crippled out of a car accident, and not basically went damn near winning a moment in the fight. He probably think he deserved to be on pay per view, which is wild to me. You know, ain't no big fights in box without Danny Garcia. Okay, yeah, all right. That's what Danny Garcia believed. Um, but you no, know, at the end of the day, that's just you know, it's a it's a solid fight. I mean, I think if Danny get a 160 pound super WBA belt, he has to defend it against mandatory challenger Michael Zephyr. Unless Zephyr lose, that's the step aside deal. And if Crawford able to get up there and, and beat Tim Zhu or beat Jamil Charlo. Then maybe he could jump up to another weight class, beat Danny Garcia, then segue into a Canelo fight. He build his way up to the weight. That would be the smart thing. And in the process of that, he would be what? Uh, one, two, three, four. If he able to beat, get a belt at 54 and a belt at 160, he'd be a five-division world title holder. So, you know, like I said before, that's a hell of an accomplishment. And if he could beat Canelo, as long as Canelo just hold one world title, he could be a six-division world titleist. You know what I'm saying? I mean, five put you in the elite company. I think Oscar and Floyd, the only one that did five, Pacquiao, I think, ended up doing eight. So, I mean, there's some there's some implications with this. That's a smart thing to do. You know? I mean, him getting the five, you know, titles in five different weight classes, two of them being, if three of them could be undisputed, you know, that's still a great case to be named a top 10, top 15 fighter of all time. But I understand jumping up beating Canelo for undisputed in the third or fourth weight class, I mean, that puts him, you know, top five, top ten-ish, easy. Especially, I mean, you can make a good case for top five. Because people seen it in the modern day, and they can't use the excuse that the mob patrol boxing, and, and, you know, the mob was paying people to take dives and shit. You know how it go. So, um, but yeah. So, I mean, then the intriguing thing about the ninth is that everybody putting on a fight. You had Devin and Regis, the ninth. Um... You know, you had Devin, Gar Devin Haney and Regis Progress fighting the knife, and then you got Rizzo Ramirez fighting the knife on Heisman night. I thought Tiafima Lopez was supposed to uh, highlight Heisman night, but I read that Rizzo Ramirez is going to be highlighting Heisman night. So, you know, that's that's supposed to be the play. So, you know, that is what it is. That is what it is. But, uh, you know, so be it. Um, but, uh, Yep, you know, and that's why I, I kind of did a video about Al Heyman on, on Thursday, which was supposed to actually come up Friday, but it is what it is. That's why I did the video on Al Heyman on Thursday, talking about, you know, you think he going to go to the zone and play fair. Man, you out your rabbit ass mind. You know, a crook don't change his stripes like a, like a zebra don't change his stripes. It changes spots like a leopard don't change his spots. You know, they might have stripes and spots. They might have stripes and spots that uh that you necessarily don't see right now. But then they, you know, they always there. But then, you know, as they get older, they start to surface and stuff. So, I mean, you know, like I said before, you know, once a crook, always a crook. You talking about a man that's probably in his 60s, 70s, 70 years old. Ain't shit about to change at all. 
So, you know. But then December 16th, they pulled the end it off with Keith Thurman and stay on it. So, you know, it's you know kind of fitting that that might be a trivia question. The Showtime might, man, what people forget before I get into that, Showtime might be going away altogether. You know, it might just be the Paramount uh, Plus app. That might be just what it is. You know what I'm saying? That might be just what it is. You know, Showtime, eventually they're going to get Paramount Plus Showtime. Eventually it's just going to be Paramount. Just like HBO did, HBO Max. They just said, we're going to call it the Max. You know, eventually Showtime is going to be done. You know what I'm saying? It was no, you know, premium cable going to be gone. Cinemax, HBO, you know, cable is dying off because cable is, is charging a lot of money. You know, uh, you see YouTube TV had issues with the CW network. They came to a revolution. You see, Dish Network dropped a whole bunch of TV networks at one point. They stopped carrying everything. You know, Xfinity started dropping. So you got to understand, man, a lot of that, a lot of them, cable is taxing taxing these, these people to be on their platform. So not only are they taxing the people, they taxing the fucking platform. So why not just individually get a platform? Well, you could pay your $10 to $12, $13 right here and there. Now, Netflix going up by $22 going up two more dollars, which is insane because we're in the middle of an actor strike. Yes, the writer strike ended, but the actor strike still going on. So what type of additional content they going to be having for $22 an hour, $22 a month? You got to understand the HBO subscription was like $16 in its heyday. That was the top of the line subscription. And I believe you got Cinemax along with it. I could be wrong. So them charging $22 a month and they got hella competition is wild. And I could just get a fire stick and stream all that shit. So think about that for me. I get a fire stick and stream all that shit. So think about that. So now you can individually get everything that you want to get. You can go on and get it. Or you could do an IPTV. Pay eight, nine dollars a month and get everything you want. Depending on what you want to do. You know, but, you know, nonetheless, it is what it is. Um, you know, but, you know, the, the move to carry on. Uh, you know, but to carry on, man. Uh, you know, with Keith and stay on this, I mean, that could be a trivia question. That might be the last fight to close the, to close the year. And I told you. Originally, it was some rumors that came out that Danny Keith, Danny and Keith was supposed to be fighting Lara and stay on this individual fights on the December 9th episode. So I don't know if they came with some type of agreement. My hold on real quick, real quick. Hold on. I don't, I don't know if it had switched over to this microphone. I don't know if they came came to some type of agreement. Um. I don't know if they came over to some type of agreement and just said, you know what, we'll give y'all one last regular Showtime, you know, uh, Showtime, you know, fight. Because you got to remember, they owe PBC another year pay-per-view fights. And the rumor was Showtime was just going to buy them out. So apparently Showtime bought out the last year of the pay-per-view schedule and just gave Al Heyman some cash just to go away. So regular Showtime boxing was done in 2023, but the pay-per-view wasn't slated to end until next year. So, you know, Keith and Stay On this might go down as a trivia question. Like, December 16th, uh, you know, what was the last fight that closed Showtime Boxing after 37 years? It could be Keith and Stay On this. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's a good fight. Now, like I said, I reported the winner of that fight if Terrence Crawford stays at 154 because the Earl Spence and Crawford rematch is supposed to be taking place at 154 pounds. And if the winner, uh, if Crawford tends, tends not to campaign, go back down to 47, the winner will be the Super WBA uh, champion of the world. Not, not just the state, Craig. You know, not just this year, the world. So, yeah, I mean, stay on this and, and Keith should be interesting. Um, I don't think highly of stay on this. I watched Thomas Delorme outbox. I watched Thomas Delorme outbox him. I expect Keith to do the same thing. I think he has some trouble late finishing the fight off, but I think. Stayon is not active enough. He's strong, but he's just not active enough. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I wouldn't rule out him stopping Keith Thurman. That'd be, you know, that'd be uh, icing on the cake. Don't nobody really mess with Keith Thurman like that. So, you know, nobody like Keith.
you know, after all that bullshit he did, and he run his mouth and then tuck his tail between his legs, throw a rock and hide both his hands and his feet. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. Um, I should be going live Thursday, Friday. Y'all don't fuck with the kid when I go live Friday night. So, I, it's not possible for me to go Friday morning. So, uh, I think what I'm going to have to start doing is probably squeezing the live in on Sundays. But I'll be so vested into uh, football and parlays and just chilling. You know, I'll be yesterday. I actually kind of kind of get the rest. Usually Saturday, I'm, I'm shaking and baking, running errands and shit. So, um, but it won't be this Sunday. It might. I'm going to I'm going to going out of town for a second this Sunday or whatever. So, um, so it might, it might, it might, it might, um, you know, it might. So I don't know, man. But uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be squeezing about five, four or five lives in this week. You know, if I get a live Thursday, we will get to four. So when I start squeezing them in on Friday, then you know, cool, you know. But if it's, you know, great shit to talk about, y'all know I'll do it. You know, it might be a chance I go live Friday. I might, you know, I'll be fasting. I've been fasting after, uh, you know, I, Monday through Friday. Now I'll be fasting after I eat lunch at like one. So it's a wrap. I'll be on the fast. So the best thing I could tell y'all about fasting is uh, find something that occupy your your mind. You know, that way, you know, once you, you know, get past your, your regular eating time, or whatever, you ain't even hungry no more. So. And the mental hunger is, is more um, tempting than the than the than the hunger of the stomach. But I talk about fasting in the next fitness one on one. So thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash App Dollar Sign CJ Good three one three Venmo CJ Good three one three PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Appreciate y'all. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Link tree, everything there. Don't forget to check out my new channel, Free Game 89, FR33 Game 89. That link's in the link tree. Uh, also, my Detroit channel, Mercy Sports Talk. That link's in the link tree. And both should be in the description. Peace.